sort it all out for us. Yeah, that is true. We had uh, an area in Gretna that was damaged by straight line winds, and then uh, other areas in the Danville region up and through the Lynchburg area uh, were hit with tornadoes. So, what exactly is it that the National Weather Service does when they go to try and sort out whether or not it was tornado damage or straight line winds? And here's something that may help you out. As we do take a look at this, uh, you'll notice there that the tornado will actually start to pick up the debris and throw it about in some, in more of a, a circular fashion. So a tornadic debris lifts, spins, and throws the debris around, whereas straight line winds from a tornado or from a thunderstorm just push everything forward in a straight line. And so uh, again, they'll go and they'll measure how far a specific uh, 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 piece of debris has moved, and if it weighed, say, 10 pounds and it moved 100 feet, it would take X amount of energy for that to move that far, and they also sort out the speed of the wind. And, of course, the speed is ranked. We have tornado categories, EF0 all the way to EF5, and we had an EF3 that moved in through the Elon area, and, again, we just upgraded that. It was an EF2 thinking it was an EF2 yesterday, uh, but this afternoon it was upgraded to an EF3 with 150 miles an hour uh, at its highest peak. And we now, looking forward to our weather situation, we have to deal with some winds, obviously not that bad, but we're looking at gusts in the area.